Hi, my name is Joanna Fallon. I'm a graphic designer and we're here this week to do another product unboxing from Design Cuts Marketplace. The idea with these videos is that every week Design Cuts send me one of their digital products from their marketplace. I have no idea what the, that product's going to be. Uh, you get my initial response, I open it and have a little bit of a play around and see what it can do. So let's see what it is this week. Okay, so we have got the paper craft kit from the Artifacts Forge and I'm quite excited about this one because I've seen it in the marketplace and it's probably got the coolest intro video I've ever seen <laughs> for any of the products so it's got a good comprehensive set of instructions here and having looked at the files there seems to be loads of elements included so I'm gonna quickly read through this and then get into Photoshop and have a have a play I'm, I'm very excited about this one Okay, I've had a read through the instructions now. I can see this is going to be one of those products where I would want to play with it for a lot longer than the time time constraints of these videos allow. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. But you can see that these are all the PNG shapes that you have. So there's, there's loads, there's loads of stuff here. Um, right, let's, let's apply a background colour. And then from here, what we can do is add a paper texture style, which I think this is where the pack comes into its own really there's loads and loads of um, authentic textures that you can apply so you've actually got so you can see there that's actually applied a nice texture or we can go for some crinkly paper here i like that original blue one so let's go for that and what we can do now is add a shape hearts Everyone likes a heart, surely, so we'll use one of those. Um, let's go with that one there. And we'll make that a little bit bigger. So from what I understand, these have all been shapes that have been cut by hand from paper and scanned, so that's why it's got these nice those kind of wobbly edges which I really like and we're going to apply another style to this um, it's this sparkly card <laughs> I like that I think the next thing I'm going to do is use one of the brushes I think we have A load of brushes that come with these that you can add textures to, so fold and crease brushes. It's a bit too small. Let's try that. It's also the wrong colour. So I think what you can do is rotate the brushes as well to create some nice effects. Let's go for the one across there. And I do like how subtle and authentic these look, actually. Let's go for a different angle. That's way too small, my god. There we go, and there's more somewhere. There. And we will clip the layers of that part so you don't see it. So you get some nice subtle fold lines, which I really like. And Let's add something else to the design as well to try some other effects. Um, hills. I don't even have a heart floating above a hill, that'll work okay. And what I want to try with this is to get the torn edge effect. So let's move that down a little bit. Okay. 
and see if we can apply some kind of green effect What's this textured paper that'll do that's a nice little edge there as well okay so let's go for of the brushes again so we're going for a torn edge brush okay and there are some instructions here on how to modify the effect so we're going to be using the puppet walk tool so it's some really good comprehensive ex um, instructions here as well which is good and i'll be honest this is a new one on me um considering i've been using photoshop for quite a while you, you kind of get into the habit of just sticking with a few tools that you know and like not not exploring things much further so this is quite if just for finding about, out about this alone it's quite nice okay so i guess there's obviously a bit more of a learning curve here trying to get it to fit authentically but it's a nice feature of being able to adapt any of these torn edge effects to any shape really. Whenever you discover something new in software like Photoshop or Illustrator, you think, oh my god, I just want to now use this on everything. <laughs> I there we go. So I think that's more or less mimic the edge. And I think just what we'll do is we'll put that. How does it look with the edge behind the effect? That's obviously not, not as effective. I think what I might do is add a few more textures and lines to the back. These stamp brushes are really nice, actually. They're a really good feature you can use on, obviously, things not just related to this pack, which is good. Although I should probably try and get the colour right. That's a little crease in here. Let's drop the opacity a little bit. Slightly more subtle effect. Oh no, <laughs> okay. Well, I think we've got an idea of how this works and um, so so much more I could do with this, but um, I can say we've got got a few time restraints on the video. But I'm quite happy with my little my little floating heart above the hills. <laughs> okay, to summarise, I'm going to give the product quality five out of five. I thought it's um, it's a really well put together product. You can see how much has gone into it in making all the shapes as authentic as possible and get textures there. So I can't really can't really fault it. Ease of use, very good, easy to use. Uh, it came with a very comprehensive set of instructions as well and I think just with a little bit of playing around it'll be very quick and easy to pick up and um, I also learned a new a new feature from in Photoshop from it so let's get some little bonus points for that. Value for money, I'm going to give it another five. You get so much included with it and the amount of time that's clearly gone into it I think it's very 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 much worth the, the price. And finally, fun factor, it's getting another five. I thought, I just wish I had a bit more time to play with it for the video, but um, it's definitely a lot of fun. The effects are really cool and it's kind of endless possibilities really with what you can do with it. And it's all, all the things that are included in this pack can be applied to various kinds of other work as well, I think. So you get, um, you get a lot of bang for your buck. As an overall score, you've probably guessed it's gonna be five out of five. This has been um, my favorite product uh, to review so far today. It's um, 
really good fun i really like the effects and the styles i like how it all works together i like how it looks all the things included it can be easily used to other work and i think that makes it very good value and very easy to apply and a good a really good thing to have in your digital toolkit If you enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up below and remember to subscribe to Design Cuts YouTube channel for more fantastic content.